good day everyone welcome to school media edifice tv channel today we are going to be talking about structure of an atom brief history the atom atomics theory he says atom is indivisible the first article was discovered by british physicist jj thompson in 1897 he discovered that atoms can actually be divisible and that atoms contain particles but he couldn't separate or identify where these particles are placed he only knew of the electron orbiting around the atom that is carrying the, part the negatively charged particle and next it was determined that the atom has positive and negative charge in 1911 by a British physicist also NS Rutherford now he named them subatomic particles the diagram showing Rutherford's model JJ Thompson's model and Datum's model Rutherford found the electron neutron and proton Datum only knew of the atom being whole. J.J. Thompson identified the electron but couldn't identify the positive and the neutral in the atom. What atom really means? Atom consists of three basic particles, protons, electrons and neutrons. The nucleus which is at the center of the atom contains the protons which is the positively charged and the neutrons that has no charge. The outermost region of the atom are called electron shells and contains the electrons negatively charged. Atoms have different properties based on the arrangement and number of their basic particles. Probing into the atom, these are the diagrams of, a, of an atom consisting of all the particles in it, the neutron, proton, nucleus, and the electron. The electron is orbiting, it's not at a steel, but for explanation purpose, you are seeing it at a steel. Atomic number. We know on the periodic table, hydrogen is the number one. It, does, it is not just placed as number one in the periodic table, it's because it is having only one proton. And proton is equal to electron. Helion is number two, it's not just having the number two. Number two is a unique number because helion has two protons and two electrons. Lithium is number three on the periodic table, but because it has three protons and three electrons. What am I saying in essence? The numbers of the atomic on the periodic tables represent the exact number of protons inside the element. Now, neutral atoms of an element contains an equal number of protons and electrons. The number of protons determines an element's atomic number and distinguishes one element from another. For example, carbon's atomic number Z is 6 because it has 6 protons. The number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. Like the, in the image, we have six protons, we have six electrons. Now, the image on the right is showing other bubbles that does not have a charge, that is the neutron. Now, the neutron is there to hold the positive charge because we all know that like charges repel, unlike charges attract. If there wasn't a neutron there, it won't, if the, the protons will be going towards the electrons. Thereby, there wouldn't be any element it will disintegrate. Now, that force is known as the strong nuclear force, which won't be taught in the secondary school. It will be taught in the university when you get there. Now, this is like a trailer to you. To be continued, neutrons can vary to produce isotopes, which are atoms of the same element that have different number of neutrons. The number of electrons can also be different in atoms of the same element, thus producing ions. 
charged atoms. For instance, iron can exist in its neutral state or in its plus 2 or plus 3 ionic states. That also will be taught when you go further in the institution. To crown everything, summary. Atom consists of three particles, proton, electron, and neutron. And an atom is composed of two regions, the nucleus, which is in the center of the atom and contains protons and neutrons, and the outer region of the atom that looks like a shell which holds its elements in orbit around the nucleus. Those shells have their own configurations. The shell don't just carry any amount of electrons. They are configured. Each electron has a negative charge equal to the positive charge of a proton. And a proton positively charged subatomic particle forming part of the nucleus of an atom and determining the atomic number of an element. It weighs one arm. Neutron is subatomic particle also forming part of the nucleus of an atom. It has no charge. It is equal in mass to a proton or it also weighs one arm. Question of the day. Are atoms really indivisible as Datum said in his theory? Build an atom beryllium showing its electrons and protons on its shell and label the diagram. And as many as you can build, when you get stuck, just type in the atom or element and it will be solved in the comment section. Thank you for listening and watching. Stay safe. School Media Cares. Bye. Thank you.